Hey everyone, I apologize if this video might go off and I have to redo it. You know, it's kind of been acting strange lately, but hopefully that won't be the case here. Now, you know, recently THLG or TL. T H L C G or whatever. Uh, the long haired, or T L H C G, I can't find that. Basically, long haired, creepy guy who was known for doing his Scooby Doo retrospective. Recently, did, recently started a gem retrospective. Now, it is kind of expected that with the movie coming out next month, in fact, in a few weeks that a lot of people would start talking about Jem. But not the movie. Because yes, there are people that still defend the fact that it might be better than it looks. That there might be more to it than we can imagine. And we can only hope so. But at five million dollars, or five billion, whatever it was, it's kind of hard to imagine that we might get something deep might get something that will say, hey, it's probably the best we're going to get. It's better than we, th we thought. Yes, there are similarities to the 80s cartoon. You know, so we think. But, with that said, Jim and the Holograms cartoon as far as a lot of fans are concerned, is far more superior and is the version that if you like Jim, you should watch. And there are some, if not a majority of fans, that have said, and if I could find it here, have said that you should also read the comic by IDW because the comic is more true to what Jim is about than what the movie is. As a matter of fact, it's more of a basically, basically it's more of the reboot or adaption of the show as it should be for modern errors or for this current time and place. But yeah, pretty much a lot of people say check out the comic because it's a better adaption if not reboot of what Jim was, and it stays closer in continuity to uh, the Jim cartoon. But with that said, one question that always plagued fans for 30 years, and yes, it is 30 years. This is 30 years since the show came out. Well, actually, it'll be 30 years, I think, next year, but still, if you don't go by birth dates and you just go by, like, let's say WWE does with the WrestleManias, then this is 30 years for Jim. And for 30 years, one question has always plagued fans. And I talked about this one time when I mentioned what Christy Marks had planned for the Jim animated movie. Because yes, Christy Marks, the creator and writer of Jim, was ori had originally penned a, a movie, an animated film, that was going to be uh, a theatrical release, maybe along the... Maybe Maybe more so a direct-to-video, if not a television release. But it was going to be a movie. A movie that was going to be basically standing alongside Transformers and G.I. Joe. But, the qu but, again, the question that always plagued fans for the past 30 years, and even to this day, and uh, that long-haired creepy guy, uh, T. T-L-H-C-G and Shubi Fulu, his little plush sidekick. The one thing they always question, including the, the plot, the Shubi Fulu in the, uh, in the retrospective, is why did Jerrica Benton find it necessary to hide her identity from Rio? Why did she hide the identity of Jem from Rio? The one person that you think she could trust more than anybody, and she ends up hiding her 
uh, you know, her identity from him. Why? Well, this is a question that e they even uh, explored in the series. Like, should, and kind of made the series what it was. I mean, this show wouldn't have gotten the, the many seasons that it did, if you will, if it wasn't for some of the conflict and even mature themes that they came up with. And one of the conflicting uh, mature themes that they had come up with was, you know, identity, as well as deception and being truthful. And a lot of people always wondered why, you know, why, you know, why Jerrica Benton had to hide it, hide it from Rio. And why couldn't she trust him like she could trust anybody else? I mean, in the second season, she trusts her newest band me member, Rhea, the Hispanic girl that came on board in the third season, over her boyfriend. And, of course, the reason being is because Rhea accidentally saw Jem turn in, Jerrica Benton turn into Jem and vice versa. The only problem was Rhea had a... The only thing, the only thing, the only reason I think Jem or Jerrica Benton trusted her more with her identity, knowing who she was, than maybe even her boyfriend, is because despite almost being baited into saying something, she never did. She never gave away the, the identity. She never said anything. Even when Eric Raymond was trying to bribe her and all that, she never frailed. She never gave in. And that 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 is again a question that is part of the question. Like, okay, we understand that would be a legit reason. You know, that would be a legit reason why Jem Jerrica Benton uh, would trust her with knowing the identity and that and thus making her a part of the group. But here's the, but again here's the question. There was another character that was, from a storyline wise, um, in in contention to be a hologram, be the first male hologram, and that would be the love interest of Aja. And here would be the question: Would Jem Jerrica Benton reveal herself to to uh, to him? And I think during the season two uh, three-part premiere, there was a discussion that yes, she would have Jerrica Benton would have to reveal her dual identity to the newest member. But with that all said, why never to Rio? Why keep it as she put it in a song? Why keep it a deception? And there might be a reason for it. I know a lot of people have tried answering this question for years, for decades. You know, it's kind of like with Superman. You know, they, they even said in the, <laughs> in, the uh, in the special feature Rebirth, Requiem, Rebirth and Requiem, or Requiem and Rebirth that they have on the Superman Doomsday DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, they basically said that for years and generations and decades, Superman keeping his identity secret from Lois Lane made him the biggest liar. And he's supposed to be America's Boy Scout. He's supposed to be like apple pie. Grandma's apple pie and all that. Apple pie and all that. Americana itself. You know, he's supposed to stand for truth and justice the American way. And yet, with him keeping his identity away in a secret from his love interest, Lois Lane, made him a hypocrite to all that. Made him basically the hypocrite to at least the truth part. And maybe a little bit of the justice part. Because he wasn't telling her the truth. He didn't trust, obviously he didn't trust her enough to tell the truth. Even though they played it up through, in the comics and even I acknowledged it uh, in the uh, Superman Doomsday movie that, and I think even the, in the Superman animated series, that Lois pretty much started slowly getting an idea that, hmm, Clark's always disappearing when Superman shows up, and then Superman disappears when Clark shows up. 
you know, she started putting the pieces together. Even in Lois and Clark, the, the New Adventures of Superman, Lois started to put the pieces together. So, with that said, why didn't Christy Marks or any of the other writers on the show do the same for Rio? Why didn't they um, do a story arc in one of the seasons, second season or third season, maybe the final season, which was the third season at most, why didn't they do something where he started to piece the puzzle together? Started to, piece, started to put the pieces of the puzzle together, I should say. Why didn't they do, do it that way? I mean, there were several episodes. First season, definitely, I think, throughout the second season, and somewhat in the third season, where Rhea was kind of questioning Jerrica's loyalty as his girlfriend, and, and as his girlfriend, as his love interest. You know, and, what, and basically, there, I think there were several episodes where he kept wondering, what is she hiding? I mean, I mean, I know she wants to protect me, and that's great and everything, but what is she hiding? Why is, it, why is you know, Jem show up and she disappears? <sighs> now, some might say that Jerrica had an advantage with Synergy. Synergy being able to create a hologram that allowed her and Jem to stand side by side so it wouldn't throw, throw anybody off. But even then you think um, Rio, would, from a storyline standpoint, would kind of piece the puzzles together. Like, wait a minute, something just doesn't seem right here. It's like, Jerrica disappeared, now Jem's here, now what's going on? And Like, let's say they had a conference, and here you have Jem just standing there next to Jerrica Benton and all that, and, she, and Jerrica's talking, and Jem's not saying anything unless programmed by Synergy, unless Jerrica orders her to do it. And it's like, you know, it's like, what, what was the, you know, why the secrecy? That, that was always the question. And I think, in my opinion, the reason they did it is because maybe, is maybe in a sense, they wanted... Well, here, here's what I think the reason they did it. It's because maybe from a storyline perspective, you know, Rio being like the roadie of the group, sort of the manager as well as the group, of the holograms and everything. I think, in a sense, they did have something planned to where he was going to slowly find out by himself. Now, I don't know if that was the case or not. I do know that in the proposed movie that was supposed to happen back in the uh, uh, mid to late '80s, that there was a, that the villains of the group, the mongrels, as they were called who used this hypnotic power to hypnotize people, brainwash them temporarily, that there was a scene where Jerrica, Jem, would be affected by this to the point that she would accidentally, under the hypnosis, reveal her, her identity to Rio. Like basically she would grab the earring and she'd go from Jem to Jerrica Benton, right in front of him. And maybe when she got, and maybe when the, uh, the hypno not, hypnosis wore off, that's when, you know, the drama, maybe the story arc, the, the story, the plot, you know, for, for Rio to wonder, why didn't you tell me? Why would you hide this? Why, why, why? Would start coming into play. And it might have been intriguing, it might have been interesting. But again, I can understand maybe that they were waiting for the movie had it been made to, to allow that revelation to be done. But I can also understand maybe from a non-movie standpoint and from a storyline standpoint, it's more like Rio could be the more weaker of the two. Like maybe he, here's what I think would have happened. Maybe from a storyline standpoint, Rio of course being the boyfriend, the love interest of Jem, of Jericho Benton I should say, if he found out, would try to encourage her to say, look, you can't, hide this. I mean, everybody knows Kimber is your sister, Aja is your, you know, foster sister, so is Sh uh, Shayna, and, and now, and, you know, uh, you know, Rhea is, you know, part of the family in a sense. You know, they know who they are, they know they hang with you, as well as our Jim's band members. Why don't you just go 